while announcing their latest Apple Watch 7. Apple announced new cycling features at their September iPhone press event. If you already have an Apple Watch and don't want to upgrade to Series 7, you can still get all the cycling specific features. If you can update your current watch or get the latest watch, Apple Watch Series 3, Apple Watch Series 4, Apple Watch Series 6 and Watch 7 will be able to upgrade to Watch 8. If your watch is compatible with Watch OS 8, let's jump into all the cycling specific features that were introduced and the Watch OS 8 software. As soon as you start cycling, the watch will detect it and you will feel a tap on your wrist asking you if you want to track your outdoor ride. I really like this. You can forget to start your watch when you get started. And this is nothing new or revolutionary with the watch. It does this already when you run, walk, or use a treadmill. This is all done using algorithms. New accelerometer and gyroscope data assist in detecting when a ride begins. Therefore, the elevated heart rate caused by riding a bike is different from traveling in a slow moving car or riding a scooter. Therefore, the watch can distinguish between the two and prompts you to begin recording. Exactly like running and walking, it will prompt you to start recording and then launch the app when you begin, tracking your activity from the moment you begin. Pressing the record button does not record. When you see that reminder, you can wait until you get to a stop or a safe area, and then press the start button if you're riding in a busy area and have both hands on the handlebars. Unless paired with a Pelican, indoor cycling cannot be detected. The watch will also detect when you stop and automatically pause your ride within seconds of stopping at a stop sign or traffic light. After you start moving again, the watch will resume recording your ride. That's pretty cool. You don't need to look for the start button or the pause button constantly. When riding a bike in a busy area and stopping constantly, Apple updated the algorithm to detect when you are riding a bike, which was done to better measure calories burned in the past which depended only on distance, data on time and heart rate. It detects when you're getting help from, say, an e-bike. The algorithm looks to see if there's a difference between your speed and where your heart rate should be to calculate calories burn more accurately. Therefore, if you are pedaling at an easy pace and your heart rate is low yet you're going 20 miles per hour, it will know you are riding an e-bike and adjust your calories calculation accordingly. Finally, once you stop moving and the rider takes a rest for, for a few minutes, and it will ask you if you finish the workout, and it will end the workout from the time you stop moving, not when the end button is pressed. It's gold, because a lot of times you've finished your workout and have made your way inside. You have to eat something or shower right away, and you forget to end the workout. This one will end the workout at the time you actually ended it, not when you press the button. Last but not least, fall detection. The Apple Watch has the capability to sense falls. Apple Watch already detects fall when you crash your bike due to some kind of accident. Since Series 4, they have had it. They didn't have it for cycling until Watch OS 8A because the motion of cycling is different from just falling. Therefore, Apple updated the full algorithm to look at the motion and impact during your workout. This means you won't get an alert when it's not needed. In order to use this feature, you must enable it. There should be a hold detection option under summary health checklist. It will alert you if you fall when cycling by tapping you on the wrist, sounding an alarm and displaying an alert. If you are okay, you can dismiss the alert or initiate an emergency sauce. After you respond to the alert, it will automatically contact emergency services. Within a minute of being in mobile, it will make a call to emerge as a service and inform them of your location automatically. In addition to notifying your emergency contacts about your location, the watch will also inform them that you've taken a hard fall and need help. Your emergency contacts can be configured in your health app, which you can find under settings emergency and emergency contacts. It will work if you either have an Apple watch with cellular service or have your phone nearby and there is cell service in the area in which case the Apple Watch will contact the ambulance service. Your country may have multiple emergency numbers. If you're a cyclist, you probably know someone who has been involved in some kind of accident while riding their bike. Many of you who watch this channel probably own some kind of bike computer that captures more data and is easier to read than an Apple Watch. Several of them also have a crash detection feature and notify your emergency contacts as well as offer real-time information on your location and live tracking to your contacts. Apple's watch does this differently and does it better than anyone out there in my opinion. But what does this feature look like? If you ride a bike 
you should consider getting a watch. In addition to the bike computer, the Apple Watch is one of the best fitness watches available. No matter what you think about Apple, they just do certain things so well that they are impossible to ignore. I would like to hear your thoughts. When you commute by bike or a cyclist, what feature alone makes you consider the Apple Watch? Tell me in the comments. That's all there is to it. Links are below in the description. If you are considering an Apple Watch, these links are affiliate links that will help to support the channel. Take a moment to click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet but have watched this far, do so now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video and maybe on the trail.